good morning guys or i should say good afternoon i wake up at 4 p.m sometimes 3 p.m just depending on the time i wake up to go to work um today i'm working at 7 p.m so i'm waking up at 4 and it takes me a second to get up because i'm just a grumpy monkey and i love my sleep So the first thing I do, or try to do really, is put the couch together, which is my bed temporarily for now. As some of you know, I'm living with my dad at the moment until I get my own place, which is hopefully in the next month or so. But yeah, I put it together because I feel like if you have a clean space, you have a clear mind, and I've just always been that way. Next thing, I get in the shower, of course, because I feel dirty going into work without showering. Then it's time to put on my bio oil for my belly so that I don't get any stretch marks. And so far I haven't developed any. And next thing I go in for my armpits because I see some people stretch there. So I always make sure to get it on there. Then it's my Burt's Bees body butter that I always put on my belly just for extra moisture and barrier to prevent those stretch marks. Then I go in with my Jergens for my arms and my legs. I already put it on my legs before this. Then I go in for my vitamin C serum to brighten up my face. Then I go in for my SPF 50 moisturizer. Obviously I brush my teeth. Then I go in for my mouthwash. Then I use my perfume because a girl can't be stinky up at work. Then of course I put on my little scrub top which is a cute little maternity top that accentuates my belly because you could tie it and just make it look cute. I go in to do my hair. I almost forgot my deodorant here. Then I go in for my compression stockings because my feet have been getting really swollen and this somewhat helps but at the same time not really because I be looking like Kim Kardashian during her first pregnancy. Then I wasn't feeling my hair so I decided to go back in with a hairband to wear it down. All I do is put on some chapstick and brush out my eyel eyelashes, no eyebrows, put on my Apple Watch, glasses, take my prenatals of course, gotta take those every day, then I take out my planner to make sure I don't have anything to do, of course I have my secret stash of M&Ms because I've been having a strong craving for M&Ms. about ready to go downstairs and head to work. My dad made some bomb chicken and veggies and there were some chilaquiles in there so that's what I took for lunch. On my way to work, it takes me like an hour to get there after getting like a Starbucks or something. Hi, um, can I just get a venti cinnamon dolce latte with light ice? Is that a venti cinnamon dolce latte? Yeah, with light ice. With light ice? Yeah, thank you. And I know I'm not supposed to be having coffee as often. Um, I have been having it often this last week. Uh, but I'm just feeling extra tired. So I just feel like I needed to get it through the night. I mean, and in the hospital. They have like that nasty coffee though, like it tastes like straight up dirt, no matter how much creamer and sugar you put in it, it just tastes like dirt, so I need to get real coffee. I was gonna get a matcha, like I usually like if I'm craving something and trying not to be caffeine, I try to get matcha, but 
watch is not gonna get me anywhere with this tiredness tonight so yeah. all right y'all i've officially made it to work um tired um i got my starbies right here i got a cinnamon dolce latte um i'm kind of bummed though because like they always put whipped cream on top and i don't like whipped cream in my drinks because at least my coffees because i don't drink it fast enough for me to finish like i always leave it especially now like when i'm working like i'm busy so i put it down for a few hours plus kind of want it to like last a little while so if i get tired later i'll drink some more i try to make it last and when i have a cream in it, it melts into it and it makes it taste weird and i don't like it so anyway i made it to work all i gotta do is before i left the house i always leave with my slides on and i just gotta pop in the trunk and i have my work shoes in the trunk um and i have them in a plastic baggie because i don't want that in my car or like walking into a house because it's gross like the stuff i step on sometimes or just all the bodily fluids like i just don't like it, it grosses me out so I keep them in the trunk but besides that that's just how i get ready for work what i do before i get here and yeah